So do you ever eat an energy gel on a long run, and then maybe 15 to 20 minutes later you feel nauseous? There's a reason for that. But we need to understand the difference between hypertonic and isotonic solutions. I'll be right back. Welcome to the Ageless Runner. I'm Ralph. Before I talk to you about science and sports isotonic gels, would you be so kind to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe icon down in the corner of this video. Thank you ever so much. When we run, we burn glycogen stored in our muscles. And if you run long enough, you'll burn up all that glycogen and you'll hit the wall or falter, uh, but you won't be able to complete your run. So most experts recommend if you run more than an hour, you need to consume carbohydrates to fuel that run. Every runner has their preferred means of, re of getting energy when they run. Some people like energy bars. I knew one runner that would make little jelly sandwiches to carry with them. Uh, I used gummies for a while, energy gummies. I liked them because I could pop two or three in my mouth every 15 minutes or so. But I found they were very chewy. They got hard if it was cold out and I had them in my pocket. And I, just, I was always worried about pulling a crown off. So I got away from the gummies and used exclusively gels. And they worked very good for me. Uh, but one time I was doing a long run and I took a gel and about, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes later, I started feeling nauseous. Didn't like that feeling at all. It kind of, kind of upset me during the run. And it happened again the second time. And that started me on a little quest uh, to research and find out why did I get sick, why did I get nauseous. And that's where I learned about isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic solutions. An isotonic solution is one where the concentration of the material in the solution is the same as our body cells. So it's easily absorbed and easily transferred to the cell, mem cell membranes into our body. A hypotonic solution uh, has a concentration less in our body. Water is hypotonic. While it hydrates, it doesn't really pass any electrolytes energy into, into our body. Hypertonic is where the concentration is higher than our body cells. Energy gels are hypertonic. You think about them, they're kind of thick. They've got a lot of energy in a packet. And when you consume it, it kind of sits in our stomach. It doesn't pass very quickly to the intestines unless you dilute it with water to make it isotonic. And you need to drink a lot of water. And that's what happened with me. I, I knew to took water with an energy gel, but I didn't drink enough. And that's why I got nauseous. So in my research, I discovered science and sports isotonic gels. They're already isotonic, so they don't need extra fluid in your stomach to dilute it so it passes into your intestines. So you get that energy pretty quickly and you're able to tolerate it and not get that upset stomach that I experienced. So let's talk about some of the differences between science and sports isotonic gels and a standard gel pack. And the whole thing is up for a reason. First thing you notice is the size. You can see the gel packs for the isotonic are bigger. They're taller, about an inch taller, they're thicker, because this thing's about twice as much material in it as a standard gel pack. So you know they're a little heavier, they're a little bigger. Uh, so, you, so when you carry them, it's gonna take up more room in your pocket or your pack or your waist belt, whatever you carry your stuff in. Now the other difference, because these already have water, in fact, water is the first ingredient in this package, unlike this package, this happens to be a Stinger honey gel. The first ingredient is honey. The second ingredient, water. Here, the first ingredient is water. So it makes it isotonic. You've got all that water in there. So the consistency of this is much different than a standard energy gel. It's much, it's thinner than a standard energy gel. Uh, I would call it thick water. Uh, I'll show you an example of it here in just a second. Uh, but it's kind of a different consistency. Some people, uh, they don't complain about it, but they say it takes a little getting used to. It's not an issue for me. It's just you just ingest it, goes down very easily. It's, it, it's not, a, not an issue. Now, a lot of runners choose their gels based on flavors. So a lot of users talk about the flavor that these don't have a lot of taste. And it's a very mild flavor. I've had lemon, I've had citrus. This is orange. Orange is probably my favorite. And it's a very mild taste. There's none of them I didn't like. So it will be a little different. You think about a standard energy gel, it's very thick, it's very concentrated. So you, much, so you get more of a stronger taste in a standard energy gel. Here it's much milder. It's not objectionable, it's just different. So my honey stinger pack here has about 26 grams of carbohydrates. This Science and Sports Energy Go has 22, so they're very close. 22 is fine, and because it's isotonic, sometimes when I take it, I feel kind of a quick energy boost, and I kind of like that. Now, they also make, and I have one here, is Science and Sports, their, their Energy Go plus caffeine. Now, this one also has 22 uh, grams of carbohydrates, 
but also has 75 milligrams of caffeine. That's equivalent about three quarters of a cup of coffee. So it's not a huge dose of caffeine. I will carry these if I'm doing long runs, especially long trail runs, or I'm going to be running maybe into the afternoon. I'll maybe use the standard Energy Go for the first two or three packages, and then I'll throw in one of these maybe towards the end of my run for that little bit of extra stimulant to, to help me finish up strong. So neither of these have a lot of electrolytes in them. They got less than 10 milligrams of sodium, but Science and Sports does make an Energy Go with electrolytes. I haven't used that yet. I'm going to try it this summer uh, when it's hot out and I sweat a lot more. I think it has roughly 300 milligrams of sodium. We'll give that a try and, and maybe I'll let you know how those work out. So as I said earlier, if you run more than an hour, you ought to be consuming carbohydrates. But you don't want to wait till the hour. In fact, you don't want to wait until you start running out. You need to get ahead of the game and start consuming carbohydrates before that hour. I typically start at about 45 minutes. So 45 minutes, I'll start using my energy gels. And typically, what I do is about every 20 minutes, I'll take about a half a package. So that's about 11, 12 carbohydrate grams every 15 to 20 minutes. I'm really targeting to maybe do a package in a half an hour. That gets me up to around the 30 carbohydrate grams per hour. That kind of works pretty good for me. You may be different. Maybe you're fine with more in the 25 range and maybe more in the 40 range or even more. You decide for yourself. But I try and do a little bit every 20 minutes so I keep that energy level kind of sustained throughout my run. You might be asking yourself, what do these things cost? Well, like many things in life, depends on where you buy them, how many you buy, maybe what flavor or, or whatever. Uh, but you can get this uh, Science and Sports Energy Go for a price almost the same as, if not the same as one of the standard gel packs. I got this one here for about $1.45 a package. And the, the GU or the Honey Stingers, they're very similar in price. So there's not, not a price premium for getting isotonic. To me, as I said earlier, the only drawback in my mind is the size. If you're cramped for space, uh, then you maybe don't want a big package in this, but, but you got to carry water. You got to carry extra water to use a standard gel. So it's kind of a trade off. So I've, I've been using these exclusively for about the past eight or nine months uh, and I had an issue with them. Like I said earlier, I did a trail marathon, took about a dozen of these. I, I threw most of me in my backpack. I keep a couple in my pocket and, and it worked, worked very fine. And thanks again for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Or if you have some comments about energy gels or energy food in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much.